Hi guys, so you may have seen in a recent video, I got hold of a few boxes of some lovely orcs to do a bit of kit bashing with and to, well, just generally have fun with. But obviously, as well as uh, the orcs I've got, I also got um, some of these. Yeah, little grots, scratchings, whatever you might want to call them, or mini orcs. Um, yeah, I've never really done much with these, but I recently uh, scrolling through Pinterest and I saw several varieties of grots. Um, well, as you saw in the thumbnail, having to go at pushing a, a large red button on a bomb and that kind of tickled me and I thought yeah I fancy doing some of that so this is the grot I'm going for just because he's got like a little pointy finger um, obviously ideal for looking like he's going to uh, push a button so yeah we cut them off and then all the rest of the, uh, the leftover sprues we, uh, we get a jar of acetone and obviously we put all the leftover bits in it and oh no this is a different video guys oh Cat's out of the bag there. Uh, pretend you saw nothing. Look in my eyes, not around my eyes. You saw nothing there. So back to the grot. Um, yeah, there's only a few bits to this dude. So they are, these are pretty diddy, uh, but certainly look fun. And obviously they're going to be green. So yeah, I think I'm going to like grots, gretchens as much as good old orcs. So as you would have seen from the other uh, thumbnail, there is a big old bomb with this dude. And as always, the first place I go to when I look for stuff is Thingiverse. So I managed to find the bomb, uh, it came in two parts, but easily they uh, obviously slot together. So I'm using Tinkercad here, um, again my sort of skills in 3D, well can't even call it 3D modelling, it's purely a case of I get bits, I cut bits up and then I attach bits. So I will leave links down below guys, so as you can see there's the bomb that came in two bits and then I was looking for a switch, uh, but a switch I actually found you could print off to make a, well a proper switch. But you can also get the file as one piece, which is what is obviously in front of you here. Um, but obviously I only need the end, not the, the whole main bit. So yeah, good old bit of cutting, moving, resizing. I say Tinkercad, it's really good for newbies. Um, it's quite limited what you can do, but obviously it's a great place to start. And I say, to at least to sort of manipulate bits and pieces, cut them up, put them together. Um, yeah, so I, I shrink this, uh, this little bomb down because it looks a bit too long. So I want it nice and short and stubby, uh, kind of like myself really I guess. Um, and yeah, this is what I've ended up with. So I hollowed it out and then obviously made a hole at the bottom. Uh, a couple of reasons for this, one so when I printed it the uh, the resin sort of came out of the end and didn't fill up inside. And obviously hollowed it out to use, well, less resin. And then I got some good old uh, sort of like styrofoam tiles. Obviously using normal glue, uh, yeah, it kind of melts it. So good old grout, although as you can see, I'm scraping the barrel here. So I will be buying some more grout because this stuff is just awesome as a filler. Uh, but obviously in this case, I'm using it as a glue because this stuff sets and it just sets like concrete. So yeah, these uh, these little styrofoam uh, or foam board sort of tiles. Yeah, again, if you've seen a recent video, I actually made these a good year or so ago when I was doing some D&D terrain. So got quite a few left over. And yeah, looking good. Obviously the bombs there. And obviously, as usual, everything gets primed in black, and I use a good old Colorforge black. But like I say, with these foam things, they uh, they can melt, so you have to use special XPS primer. And obviously, Army Painter does one of these in their Game Master set, which is awesome. So I sprayed it with that, and then obviously primed everything in black, ready to be painted. And we all by now know how I like to paint. So yeah, good old textured dry brush palette comes out, and we're gonna start with good old white. So I'm going to use this obviously on the stones because, well, this will make the stones look like, well, hopefully stones. Um, yeah, dry brushing. Again, it's something I've, uh, I just love doing. Um, it is so simple, so quick, and it gives really good results. So yeah, all the stones get dry brushed. Uh, and obviously my little grot fellow, he's going to get dry brushed. Um, but say he is very, very diddy. So I'm using a smaller dry brush on him just because the other one, well, that'd probably knock his, uh, knock his socks off. Um, but yeah, just sort of obviously notice when you do uh, do the old dry brushing, you get to see a lot more detail in the figures. And we can obviously see this little grot, well, they look quite angry. Um, I don't know if there are any happy grots, but this one's certainly, uh, yeah, he's having a bad day. Uh, and then, yeah, using the same sort of thing, bit of dry brushing, and I'm going to do the same for the bomb. Um, again, for silver, I do prefer doing my silver so it's primed in black and then dry brushed. Um, rather than doing like a solid silver, it just kind of looks too, well, too bright, too clean. Uh, yeah, priming in black and then dry brushing with silver. Um, yeah, it gives it a real nice sort of grungy, dirty, grimdark effect, I guess. Um, whatever it's called, I, I like it. And I think we all know by now, 
when it comes to terminology. Uh, yeah, we all know I know nothing of terminology because I forget stuff. Uh, I know what I like. I know how to do stuff sometimes. Um, but yeah, and obviously this button. Well, <laughs> buttons need to be red. Uh, yeah, see a red button, you're going to push the red button. Um, so yeah, a lovely, large, big red button. And good old transfers because obviously me trying to do the old checkered flag look. Um, yeah, it would look like a, a drunken orc had painted it. So yeah, using transfers, again, I always sort of say I don't really use transfers that much, but when I do, um, yeah, I really like it, so I do need to get more and more transfers. And obviously, as this is an orky little build, well, it needs to have uh, something very orky on it. So yeah, very nice, simple little build this, uh, but yeah, another fun one, and I like how it's coming along. So my little green guy, say so he's going to be painted green, and one of my preferred greens is Malignant, uh, what's it? Um, yeah, I've got about two or three different greens that I like to use for orcs, and I think I did do a video recently, and I sort of went through my favourite colours. As uh, with the speed paints, some of them look absolutely fantastic and work really, really well, um, as in getting the sort of the variations in the colour, the sort of the, uh, the darker areas uh, in the shadows, normal areas on any bits, and then raised bits in the lighter areas. So yes, there's certainly certain um, greens that I prefer, uh, and even blues, although this is more of a grey blue which is called Runic Grey, and yeah, this is one I normally go to when I want to make sort of things look blue and kind of like denim. Um, it definitely gives things a good sort of like blue jean look, which uh, again, it's not one of my favourite sort of paints to use. Um, yeah, even though I must have about 60 odd paints, there's definitely sort of like a good dozen that are my sort of favourite go-tos. So obviously my little guy didn't take long at all to paint, because well, there's not much of him. But something I am trying to do a bit more of now, and that's a bit of variation in their skin. Um, not by too much, but I like to obviously make their lips, um, their ears, their nose, their cheeks. Uh, yeah, a bit more sort of skin and lighter colour. Uh, just again, just to variate the uh, the colour and look of them. Um, yeah, speed paints are great for sort of getting the initial sort of paints down. Uh, and then, yeah, every now and then I like to sort of try different things. So, yeah, a little bit of uh, a flesh colour just on the cheeks, ears, nose, and say even the knuckles. Uh, the knuckles get a, a little bit of this and there we go time to see him in all his glory Hope you enjoyed the video guys don't forget to leave some comments down below let me know what you want to see me do with all those lovely uh, orcs that i've got and obviously the other grots that i've got as yeah these are cool fun little guys and i definitely want to do some little kit bashing and sort of little dioramas like this maybe a bit bigger dioramas a bit more going on but um yeah certainly a fun little build okay guys big thank you and shout out to all my lovely patrons and chaos cards as well as the color forge for help support the channel it really does mean so much to me guys check out the links down below to everything that i use and if you are new here, click that like button, subscribe, share, leave comments, all that good fun stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.